So here in app.py, I'm currently importing the sales module. When Python sees this, it will look for a file called sales.py in the current directory. If it doesn't find this file, it will look in a bunch of predefined directories that come with Python installation. Let me show you. So we have a built-in module called pass. Let's import that. In this module, we have a variable pass, which returns the list of directories that Python will look at to find a module. Let's print this on the terminal. So as you see, we get an array of strings. The first element in this array represents the current folder. So on my machine, that is Moshvik Hamadani slash Dropbox courses, Python, blah, blah, blah. On your machine, it's going to be different. After that, we have library, frameworks, Python framework version 3.7, da, 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 da. Again, this is going to be different on your machine depending on your operating system. I'm using Mac, so this is the address of Python installation on Mac OS. On Windows, you're probably going to get something like C drive, backslash program files, Python, blah, blah, blah. So when Python sees an import statement, it will search all these directories to find this module. As soon as it finds the module, the search stops there. Now, you might be curious how we can import a module from a subdirectory. Well, to do that, we need to look at packages, and that's the topic for the next lecture.